guys coming up welcome back to another tutorial and this tutorial has been requested so much so i decided to do it and today we're gonna be making hennessy infused chocolate covered turtles and everything that i got lined out is what you're gonna need coconut oil but the thing with coconut oil is be sure that your clients or whoever you're serving this to is not allergic to coconut. If you can't use coconut oil, vegetable shortening, Crisco is just fine. That's only to thin out your chocolate. Sea salt. The starter show, of course, Hennessy. You're going to need your pecans. And I got these from Sam's. You're going to need three and a half tablespoons of butter unsalted you're gonna need milk chocolate and you're gonna need caramel now whether you're making homemade caramel or you're buying peter's caramel offline or using caramel blocks from the store all of it is good all of them will work the same homemade you know it's quite better but this is just as good trust me you're going to need a pan, and while you're at it, before you even get started, go ahead and melt your butter on medium low heat, so that can be ready to roast your pecans. Okay, so you're going to get to opening up all your stuff. If, you got, if you're buying the store-bought caramel, go ahead and open. Just open them and add them to your bowl. And the same with your chocolate. I'm gonna take a tablespoon. And I'm gonna add it to my chocolate. I'm going to place it in the microwave for a minute. Now, if you're new to melting chocolate, you want to do 30, 30 seconds at a time. But you want to do a minute. And you're doing 30 seconds at a time because you don't want to overheat your chocolate because it will burn. But if you're used to it, you know how long it's going to take and how many... Um, 30 seconds or minutes is going to um, take so your chocolate can get fully melted. Okay, I'm just going to open up all my caramels. And y'all don't need to see that in all of this, but okay, my minute is up. Just gonna stir. And we'll put it back in the microwave for thirty seconds. And I'm gonna continue to open all my caramels. Using sea salt is very optional. You don't have to use it. But me, I like that sweet and salty. And it balances it out. And it gives it a good taste. Okay. My chocolate has stopped. Okay, I'm gonna put it back in for another 30 seconds. It probably gonna go to 430, but and 
continue to open all your shadows. You want to use this whole bag. And I usually use two, um, two bags. It just depends on how many I'm um, making. And I'm not making this for nobody in particular. I'm just making them for the story. So. is fully melted and I'm going to sit that to the side now remember you have your butters already on the stove you're going to add a cup of pecans well, I'm going to add two cups of pecans just add it to the butter on the stove back on the stove and let it do it do its thing and you want the stove between four and five okay i'm gonna get all these caramels open and i'll be back okay now that your pecans have toasted you're gonna add you're gonna begin to add your sea salt and you just need a little not too much Then you want to place them on a paper towel or a piece of parchment paper to drain and dry. And once I put them on there, I'll be back. Okay, I'm just placing them on this parchment paper. Tablespoon or teaspoon. You're gonna take your Hennessy. You want two tablespoons. If you don't want to do this with alcohol, you can do it with water or you can do it with milk, either or. You're gonna place it in the microwave for a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, and once the minute and 30 seconds up, you're gonna take it stirred, and if it's not completely melted, just put it back in the microwave for 30 seconds. So once I get my Caramel melted, I'll be back. Okay, now that my caramel has completely melted, this is what you want it to look like. Okay. And it smells so good. Okay. Your pecans that have been sitting, you're going to take them and just add them to the, um, the caramel. Try not to get it. See, mine's haven't completely dried. 
that's okay. I'm gonna add it in. Then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna stir it in. And I'm gonna leave that to sit about 10 minutes to kind of stiffen up a bit, but you don't want to leave it too long and it get too stiff on you to where it's like, you want it to stiff, but not too stiff, if that make any sense. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when the time comes. Okay, we're gonna sit that to the side. And you're not done with the Hennessy just yet because we're gonna be adding some to the chocolate. But you want your chocolate to completely cool before you add it. Okay, so once my caramel is stiffened up to what um the way that I want it, I'll be back. Okay, now for my chocolate. I'm gonna take it here so and you're gonna add a little at a time. About a teaspoon. But I got a tablespoon, so don't mind me. Just want to add a little at a time. Because if you add too much, your chocolate will seize up on you. Okay, you're gonna move it to the side. Pop that back up. And you want your pan. Because now it's time for, oops, now it's time for the sticky part. You wanna grease your hand. And you can do this with gloves on, but I find doing it with gloves for me, it sticks so bad to the gloves. So I'm just, and my hands are clean. Okay, you're gonna take your um your mix, and you're gonna form little patties. And this is still low warm, so little turtle shapes. And you're gonna place it down. And you're gonna do that for all of them. My chocolate, I mean, my mix is still a little warm, so I'm gonna give it a little bit to cool down a minute, and then I'll be back. Okay. Like before, you're gonna take some grease. I mean, not grease. <laughs> some um, coconut oil or Crisco. Well, it is grease, huh? Gonna rub your hands together. Gonna take a patty. Well, you're gonna form a patty, and you make them however, um, whatever size you want them to um be. I'm just gonna lay them down like that. Like I said, this can get a little messy, so be prepared. Okay, 
If you want them big, do them big. If you want them smaller, do them smaller. The size is um, totally up to you. You're just going to form little patties like that. I had tasted some on a spoon and it is very you can taste the Hennessy put it like that okay so I gave you an idea of how to do it so I'm gonna get all these done and I'll be back to show you what to do next okay now that I got them all formed as you can see, I'm going to place this into the freezer. Yes, I said the freezer. For about roughly around 5 to 8 to 10 minutes. So they get still. You want them still. Don't worry about when you dip them, they're going to be froze. They're not going to be froze. They're going to be gooey. You know, just like turtles, but... You want to place them in the freezer. This is how I do it. This is what works best for me. You're going to place, like I said, you're going to place them in the freezer for between 5 to 10 minutes. Not, they might not even go to full 10 minutes just until they get hard. Okay. While they're in the freezer, you're going to go ahead and melt the chocolate because by this time, it's not got hard. So put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, take it out, and you should be ready. Okay, so I'll be back once these get stiff, hard parting up. Stay tuned. Okay, now that they come out the freezer, I have started dipping a couple of them, but they just slipped up off the paper. You're going to take one, dip it in the chocolate. And you're going to place it down. And you're going to need a fork for this process. Take it. Dip it, tap on the side of the bowl to release any um, excess chocolate. Then you're going to place it down. And you're going to do that for all of them. And this makes about a dozen to two dozen, 12 to 24 um, turtles, depending on the size you want. I have another air bubble, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that one with the board.
okay and that's how they look and you're gonna place this in the refrigerator and let, um, until they dry then you're gonna come back and you're gonna dip them a second time so I'll be back once they're completely dry okay now that they've come out the refrigerator I'm gonna dip them a second time and just lift them up and it comes straight up like that go ahead and lift them all up okay take it just like the first time you're going to dip it the same way then you're going to place it down. got any bubbles in it just take your fork and just get it out same way now these are so good better than any store bought that you can buy and that's just honestly speaking Just giving me the blues. <laughs> Make sure you cover it completely. chocolate or um, throw it away because we're going to add some drizzles to them after they set and then after they set and we add the drizzle we're going to be sprinkling a little sea salt on top that sweet salty nutty candy and y'all another thing is you do not have to be limited with using only Hennessy 
you can use any for me milk chocolate and dark chocolate goes best with dark alcohol liquor that's just my preference but what have been good and it's also the size Hennessy is the crown the salted caramel crown royal that would have been good in this too dark chocolate milk chocolate for me like I said goes best with dark liquors white chocolate you know then you can mix it up with your Ciroc your clear liquor, um, liquor. you know like I said that's my preference but anywho we're going to place these in the refrigerator until they completely set, and then I'll be back. Okay, now that they've come out the refrigerator, this is how they look, completely covered. Okay, I went ahead and added my melted chocolate to this um, bottle. I'm going to put the lid. And this is how the bottles come. And you can get these from Michaels. And it's by Sweet Sugar Bell. Okay. And I went ahead and grinded my sea salt. And I placed it in the little top it come on. I'm gonna take my own my bottle. I'm just going to drizzle. Then I'm going to take some sea salt. And I'm just add a couple of um, little drops to it. I'm not going to add sea salt to all of them. But I'm going to add it to a few. Not too much. You just want to go back and forth with drizzling. Until you've um, done them all. You don't have to drizzle. I mean, they're perfectly fine like they are when, they, um, when you dip them the second time. Just want to go back and forth. When I'm taking a sea salt, I'm just sprinkling it a little bit. Okay. And there you have it. And you're just going to place it in the refrigerator again. Just so it can set. Or you can leave it out to set. But, um... I always place mine in the refrigerator to set. And I'll be back when it's all said and done. Stay tuned. Okay, this is the finished product. And as you see, I done laid it out on a, um, a nice little plate. You know, I done put my little bottles on it. 
or whatever. And this is Hennessy Infused Chocolate Cover Turtles. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can always thumbs it down, whatever floats your boat. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. You know, y'all hit the bell to be notified whenever I do upload a video. And till next time, y'all stay blessed. You know, stay focused, stay humble, and keep pushing. And I'm going to leave y'all with this. Mark 11 and 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe you have received it, and it will be yours. So, y'all, keep God first in whatever you do. If this is what you're trying to, you know, do, and you're dedicated, you're passionate about it, you know, don't give up. You know, I have times, and I just went through this little spell, where, you know, too much was too much for me. I was taking on too many orders. I was just doing too much. You know, and I kind of like got burnt out of it. But it's in me. It's my passion. It's what I love to do. It keeps me grounded in some ways, you know. And I'm very humble by it, you know. So, y'all, like always, never let nobody tell y'all what y'all can't do. You know, keep pushing, keep striving, you know, and do you. And have fun doing it, you know. So, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed making it. And so, next time, y'all stay blessed. Thank you for watching.